Niš, niš, niška. A niška. <laughs> Niša. Uh, a niška come from. Uh. Um, hello, Niš. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Scott. <laughs> okay, so you've come from mock test today. Mm -hmm. How many hours of lessons have you had in total, do you believe? It doesn't have to be accurate, just a rough um, estimate. Probably, oh, I don't know, around between maybe like 35 to 40 hours. I'd say. Okay, so good. That. So you had a good benchmark. Yeah, we're we're told about so. 40 hours is a nice mm -hmm. figure for most people to sort of get ready for the test. Great. Leading into the next one, do mm -hmm. you have a test booked? I do. You do? Me, yes. So you just want to see where you're at. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. Hopefully get the result and the feedback. Yeah. See if you're ready for your driving test. Exactly. Okay. Any questions before we get started? No. All right. So we're going to be doing mock test. You'll be driving for around 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. We will do a maneuver, mm -hmm. some, some sort of reversing. Okay. Uh, 20 minutes of independent driving mm -hmm. and possibly an emergency stop. So this mm -hmm. is what the examiners will tell you or say to mm -hmm. you before you actually get into the car. Okay. When you get into the car, they'll usually ask you a tell me question. Sometimes they'll talk to you or ask you the question as you walk to the car. So, uh, Nish, would you be able to tell me, where would you find the correct tyre pressure for this vehicle? In the car manufacturer's guide. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And what do we use or need to check tyre pressure? The uh, a tyre pressure gauge. Perfect yeah. answer. Right, okay. lovely. Okay, so you've had somebody pull up and park quite closely yeah. in front. Mm -hmm. So we haven't used reverse yet. Mm -hmm. And just to let people know that you've literally drove this car for five minutes. Yeah. Okay. So you're a little bit familiar, but not too familiar. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to actually give you some advice if okay. I need to about the controls sure. on the vehicle. Okay. So one of them being reverse. So yeah. I'd like you to reverse back at least until you see the tires of that vehicle. Okay. You can go back more, but mm -hmm. that'd be a good sort of way of telling you've got enough room to move yeah. out. Okay. Yeah. So to go into reverse gear, hold the brake down mm -hmm. and move the lever up into R for reverse. You'll see that's displayed on your dashboard and then you get your beautiful little reverse camera come up. So when it's safe, I'd just like to reverse back a couple of meters, please, Nish. Okay. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're happy with this gap, we're going to start your mock test. Okay. We're going to start with the independent driving, which is quite normal. Mm -hmm. So you'll leave the car park with the sat nav on and be asked to follow the sat nav okay. straight away. Okay. So our sat nav set up, it's all ready for you to follow it. Great. So you ready? Yep. Drive on <laughs> and follow the sat nav, please. Great. I'll just put it into drive. Ignore me, sorry. Okay, the sat nav should talk, but it hasn't said anything, so I'll just say the direction here okay. turning left. Sure. Turn left, Chamberlain Way. At the end of the road, turn right, B466, Cuckoo Hill. Turn right.
So have you used the sat nav before in your previous lessons? Yeah, we have, yeah. Good. Yeah. After 200 yards, turn left, China Street, then take the second left. So this is quite common. Um, it's giving you one direction and then another afterwards. Turn left, then take the second left. It's the second. Seconds. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people here left left yeah. and go left left, but right. it's left second left. Have you seen this road before? After two hundred yards, yes. turn it's left, uh, Barnhill. She came. Yes. At least that's how my instructor pronounces it. Right. <laughs> she came. She came. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Turn left. to find a convenient place to pull up on the left. Sure. Thank you. Uh, with the chicanes, mm -hmm. chicanes um, did you know that you are allowed to drive on them? No, I did not know that. Because you okay. may have an oncoming vehicle on right. that road. Right, so swerving round might not be the... Yeah, so if you have an oncoming vehicle, yeah. to go on the chicane would be would necessary. Be okay. okay. Yeah. No oncoming vehicle, go around them, not mm -hmm. a problem. Okay. Yeah, but just for future reference, yeah. on your test, if you go down that road mm. and you have an oncoming car and you think, I have to go around mm -hmm. that, it's going to put you into an oncoming car. Absolutely. The safest thing to do is to drive over it. It's mm. not going to damage your car mm. and it's safer and it's necessary. Okay? So Makes just sense. through if you go there on your test. Great. You can relax knowing that you're allowed to drive on those. Good to know. Okay? Thank you. Right, when you're ready and it's safe, drive on and continue to follow the sat nav. Great. Remember it might give you two different directions at the same time. Okay. Like it did before. Right. Alright? Okay. If you have any questions about that, you are allowed to ask your examiner. Okay. You're not sure about the direction. Right, okay. Then can we, we can help you out. Sure. Thing. All right. Okay. Otherwise, take your time. Drive on when it's safe. Right. At the end of the road, turn left, Bridal Road, then turn right. Turn left, then turn right.
Turn right, Rushdeen Road, then take the third right. Ignore that. Okay. Uh, there's a slight delay between the sensor and where the car was, so it's not there anymore. After 200 yards, turn right, Abbotsbury Gardens. stop on the left in a convenient place. Okay, perfect. Um, the sat-nav does give a little bit of misinformed information mm -hmm. we'll see if that happens okay. if it does then like your examiner i will tell you to disregard or not listen to the sat nav ignore sure. it okay and i will give you instructions or directions instead mm -hmm. we'll see if it comes up if it doesn't i'll be quiet otherwise i'll just let you know okay okay all right when you're ready drive on and continue to follow the sat nav speed limit here shown on the dashboard correct yes it is correct um, sometimes as you might be aware technology might be mm. not updated it might be misinforming you so mm -hmm. do continue to look for signs so that you know for sure at the end of the road turn left field end road then take the second right After 200 yards, turn right, Elm Avenue. Good reading the sat nav, well done. So that's happened a couple of times, yeah. you sort of noticed. Stop the signal. Yeah, I've been to a bit too early. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? If your examiner's quiet, sometimes they might butt in and give you a little bit of direction. Okay. But normally they should stay quiet like I did. That's okay if you turn right there. As if long right, as you do it safely. I see. Okay, if I did take the wrong right, yes. it's okay. Good. Okay. So the point is that if someone's on the test and they feel like they've gone a different way to what the sat yeah. nav's asked them, as long as it's safe, 
It's okay. Yeah. Okay. After 90 yards, turn right, Elm Avenue. We're going to be here for a little while, so I'm just mm -hmm. going to give anybody that's still watching some advice. Um, normally when people turn right, see as we're turning right, there's a pedestrian crossing mm -hmm. there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they'll see that traffic light. See there's a single traffic light that's red, just yeah. on the right. they see that and stop. Now you only need to stop for a red traffic light, like when you're turning, mm. if there's a solid line next to it. So you can see over there, the ones that just turned green in front of us. Yeah. If you look on the floor, just where those green traffic lights on the road, you might see a very faint white line. So if you were turning right okay. here to those green lights okay. and those green lights are red, yeah. you'd stop at the stop line, okay. which is the line that I'm talking about. Okay, fine. But here we um, don't have that. No. So you just keep going through. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you know you need to stop mm -hmm. if there's a stop line. that's the end of your independent driving mm -hmm. just follow the road ahead from now on sure. and if I need you to turn left or right I will give you directions in good time right thank you So just keep following the road ahead. Okay. Just after the traffic light, mm -hmm. there's a one-way road. Mm -hmm. I'll point it out to you when we get there. You may, if you look to the right, see the quick fit. It's kind of blocking it. But just where that quick fit is. Mm -hmm. We're is, gonna turn in. Yeah. Okay, so on the right. Mm hmm. Okay. It goes straight across this junction. Okay. And you might see the one way arrow on that blue circle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I'd like to take the next road on the right into okay. the one way road. Sure. Thank you. And at the end of the road, I'd like to turn right. Okay. 
and take the next left, please. the roundabout I'd like to turn left first exit further down on the right so I'm giving you directions a little bit early. I'd like to take the next road on the right. I'd like to pull up on the right hand side of the road, please. Thank you. When it's safe to do so, I'd like you to reverse back roughly two car lengths in a straight line. Okay. So this will be your manoeuvre. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the driveway. So if you need to stop two car lengths back in front okay. of the driveway, I've asked okay. you to do that. Fine. So that's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. When you're ready and it's safe. Okay, thank you very much. Drive on when you're ready okay. and take the next road on the right. Next road on the right, okay. Thank you.
I'd like you to pull up in a safe place on the left, please. Thank you. I'm just going to car for a moment. Right. Nish, Nish, Anishka. Anishka. <laughs> Anishka come from. Oh. Anisha. Yeah. Right, okay. Have you ever done a controlled stop before? Literally once. <laughs> okay, this would be good. Oh, God, no, please. <laughs> this is the part of I the test. I don't even know how hard to press this thing. I don't like to say this. <sighs> For many reasons, however, okay. it's very effective. Okay. If you, I'm assuming you yeah. don't have children yet. No. Okay. All right. If you had a child, mm. and that child somehow managed to get away from you and walk out in the road or whatever, okay. yeah. Now, how would you like the driver of the car that may may be coming towards that child? Brake. Literally slam their foot on the brake. Yeah. Now, you have ABS and most okay. modern vehicles, I might get some backlash in the mm -hmm. comments about this, but most ma modern vehicles have ABS. Mm -hmm. ABS means that there's anti-lock braking systems, okay. there's technology in the car that will, if you slam the brake on, control the car. Mm. So it will, it will help you stop sooner and allow you to steer away from any object that you might be heading towards. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is you can slam your brake on. Okay, you can. All right? You didn't have to, it just needs to be very firm, okay. but if you did, that's okay. Yeah. Once you've done that, then I'll ask you to drive on, and I'll only ask you to do the stop if it's safe. So okay, I'll fine. put my hand up and say stop. stop. That's and I put when it into park you after. Bomb. You don't need okay. to. The reason being is because you're only going to be asked to drive away afterwards. Mm. You don't have to secure your car. You're going to be moving okay. again. So for that reason, there's no need for you to secure the car. Okay. 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 Go All right. Um, when you're ready, okay. sure. uh, drive on. It's a very long road, and I will only ask you to do this if it's safe. If it's not, I'll tell you we're going to abandon the exercise. Okay. okay? Sure. All right. Take your time. If it's safe, drive on and be ready for me to put my hand up and ask you to stop. Okay. Okay. All right, bear with me, Anisha. Anisha. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just let this white car. Only because we're going to be doing in a controlled stop, so it's just sure. safer for me if he can go. Then there's more chance I can ask mm -hmm. you. All right, now mm -hmm. sorry to stop you yep, there, but now good. if it's safe, drive on, please. Stop. Thank you. Drive on when you're ready. I won't ask you to do that again, so just mm -hmm. drive as normal. Okay. Thank you very much. the roundabout I'd like you to take the first exit turning left mm -hmm. Take your 
time when okay. it's safe look for the next opportunity to turn left I'd like you to beep the horn uh, or show me how you would beep the horn. <laughs> Lovely, thank you very much. This whole part of the video. Oh, I'll fast forward through this. Okay, that roundabout. Yeah. That guy wasn't was um, signalling to go left. Uh, but the then one on the far the side. The left on my oh, um, on my right. I didn't see that. I only saw his right signal, oh, and okay. I only saw him when you started to move. The one the, in front was going was I guess coming round, but I guess yeah. I'm looking on my right, right. Yeah, it was the one in front that was coming round. That's the one yeah. that I stopped you for. Well, I thought I could. But yes, you, you, you're right. Okay. The timing was off. So okay. by the time, let me tell you the best timing. Yeah. Oh, just, oh. So when he comes in, yeah. you go into the roundabout. So if the opposite side's going on, okay. that's the timing. That's when you go on. If you time it incorrectly and you wait too long, the car that's coming from the opposite side yeah. is now halfway round the roundabout. Okay. What's the dangers of you now going? Yeah, it, we're gonna, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be there, isn't it? So, I call it the danger zone, okay. I don't know if you heard that. So although that car was signaling left, I should have what, been looking ahead or? Correct, you need to look into the danger zone. The dan you looking ahead is good because okay. you'll, you'll, you'll be aware of that yeah. before it even happens but double checking the danger zone, which yeah. is the immediate right, just before you enter into it can be useful. Okay. So it's always a double check. Yeah. Okay, uh, roundabout, turn left, okay. and second roundabout, turn right. So okay. left on the first roundabout, right on the second. on this sheet by now. Okay, right on the second roundabout, please. Very well. Um, obviously, that yeah. Roundabout. I don't want to say too much because no. I want it to be a more okay, natural sure. response. I'm really annoyed that that happened. <laughs> it's good that these things happen because they're less likely. And I will no. give you tips and stuff afterwards. Okay. Take the next left for me, please. Sure.
and at the end of the road turn right. Take the next left, please. I'd like to find a safe, convenient place to park on the left, please. Lovely, thank you very much. All right, just uh, switch the engine off by pushing the big magic button here that says stop. And that's it, relax. That's the end of your test. And <laughs> if anybody enjoyed the video, got any value, please give Anisha a nice big thumbs up and write down how she did in the comments. Why Say not? Say lovely things, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna do the debrief now. So for anybody that's interested in hearing the tips and stuff, uh, for Anisha's mock test, then uh, go click the card up here and you'll be able to get all the information that Anisha's about to get to help her pass a driving test. Great. All right, see you there. Bye. Bye. <laughs>